it was the very first object that visited our vicinity in the solar system from outside the solar system. It moved too fast to be bound to the sun. Very first object that we have found coming to us from interstellar space, from other places. Scientists finally unraveled secrets of the Aumuamua. Want to know about it? Let's find out. Astronomers working on the Pan-STARS-1 telescope on the island of Maui on October 19, 2017, did not think they would find cosmic gold. However, they did. The night they were looking up at the stars was a normal one. But all of a sudden, they saw what is without a doubt the strangest comet that has ever been found. It came from deep space because it was moving very quickly minus 87 kilometers per second, 54 miles per second, and in a very circular shape. It was the first known object from beyond our solar system to come into ours. When compared to other comets, it was very small, measuring only 115 meters long and 19 meters wide. It looked like a cigar. The comet, whose name means a messenger from afar arriving first, actually sped up in the second half of its path, which was faster than what the sun's gravity could explain. Even the most logical scientists started to think that the object might be a spaceship from another planet moving quickly through our solar system on its own. A lot of people have stopped talking about life on other planets since Aumuanua was found numerous years ago. However, no one has yet talked about how the object went against the usual rules of comets and hit the gas as it was leaving our solar system. Finally, a new study that was released in Nature may have the answer. It has everything to do with molecular hydrogen. As a comet moves out of our solar system, it speeds up. It does this in part because the sun's gravity gives it a kind of whip-crack push when it goes around the other side of the sun. In addition, dust on the comet's surface releases gases when heated by the sun. This creates a natural jet that speeds things up even more. However, Oumuamu was too small to have any surface dust. This means that it did not have the coma, the shimmering halo that circles the body of most comets and makes the tail stand out. Professor Jenny Bergner of Chemistry at the University of California, Berkeley, and the main author of the recently released study said, when astronomers looked for common signatures of outgassing activity, they couldn't find them on Aumuamua. Even though Aumuamua did get some energy from the sun's gravity, Studies showed that it wasn't enough to explain the big speed increase it had. A postdoctoral researcher in astronomy at Cornell University and one of the report's authors, Daryl Seligman, said, The most mysterious thing about Aumuamua was this very significant non-gravitational acceleration. A process called the Yarkovsky effect is one of the most likely reasons, according to Seligman. This is when small objects like rocks or very small comets like Aumuamua take in photons from the sun and send them back out as a kind of propellant plume. That being said, this effect wasn't nearly enough to explain how fast Aumuamua was changing speed. When this was thought about, there were three possible reasons. Nitrogen propulsion, carbon monoxide, or molecular hydrogen, H2. It is known that all three of these gases are hypervolatile, and you can find them all in comets. All three of these gases are found in comets. They really want to be in the gas phase all the time, Bergner says. But sometimes they let themselves get frozen. Cold temperatures of as low as minus 269 degrees Celsius, minus 450 degrees Fahrenheit, caused the hypervolatiles to freeze while Aumuamua was in deep space. One theory says that as the comet got closer to the sun, the hypervolatiles may have heated up and sent out plumes of gas. That's what Aumuanwe needed to give it the push it needed to show that its speed wasn't caused by gravity. It is possible that the same thing would happen with other comets, but these comets are too big to be greatly affected by such a small push. It would be a different story if Aumuanwe were a comet that small. As part of their work, Bergner and Seligman used computer models to figure out not only what the comet was made of, but also what its budget of hypervolatiles was. This included how much carbon monoxide, nitrogen, and hydrogen would be present. Aside from that, they did thermal modeling to see what would happen to those materials when the temperature changed from the colder deep of space to the warmer center of the solar system. After thinking about everything, 
they decided that the Amuluanua's amounts of carbon monoxide and nitrogen would not be enough to explain the speeding up and outgassing. But H2 would be a different story. Much like most comets, Oumuamua has a lot of water on it. Due to the extreme cold in deep space, the water would have turned into ice in what is called a amorphous state before the comet entered the solar system. Ice that is amorphous has a porous structure with gaps. This is different from regular ice, which has a solid crystalline structure. Being exposed to radiation from space would also have a second effect on the ice. This time, it would break up some of the hydrogen atoms that are inside the water molecules. That water mist would build up in the amorphous ice's pores, just like fuel does in very small gas tanks. It got warm enough for the ice on Oumuamua to turn into crystals as soon as it entered the inner solar system. The gaps were closed off, and the hydrogen was pushed out of the comet. This was what gave the speeding up its propellant push. However, Bergner says that when the water structure has enough energy, it changes its shape into one that is more stable and compact. These holes are lost during the process, which lets the hydrogen escape through the surface. As a result, the question was answered and the problem was fixed, but there were no extraterrestrial ships involved. The National Science Foundation will build the Vera C. Rupin Observatory in Chile's Atacama Desert in 2025. As part of its job, the observatory will be required to look for stars that are giving off hydrogen gas. Bergner, Seligman, and other scientists will look for comets that are about the same size and brightness as these. Before 2017, scientists had no idea that there was a type of comet like Oumuamua. We will be able to learn more about their behavior, makeup, population, and other factors now that we have access to the Rubin Observatory and the scientists who will be using it. The most important thing to take away from this is that Aunuenua fits the description of a normal interstellar comet that went through a lot of processing in space, Bergner said in a statement after the study came out. There must be a lot more than one Aunuenua if there is even one. In 2019, a second object thought to be from another star system was found. A lot of the time, people think that there is at least one object closer to the Sun than Earth that is in its orbit. Based on the work of another artist, this picture shows Aumuamua traveling through space and sending out some kind of material. We can't see them, which is troublesome. Either they are too small, too dark, or not in a place where viewers can see them. It is planned that the brand new Vera C. Rubin Observatory will open for business in 2024 which will open the floodgates. It's possible that they will see one object between the stars every year. Given that the nearest star system is more than four light years away and sending a probe there would take a very long time using the technology we have now, this is quite an impressive accomplishment. One scientist has been told that other scientists have already planned plans to catch one of these intergalactic travelers. They think that it might hold information about the makeup of the star systems that sent them. One investigator said, I think what's important about this is to get all these creative ideas out there. If we ever get to have a mission to one of these objects, we now have a wealth of testable ideas. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more information about space and even beyond that, universes and galaxies that you've never seen.